What is bonsai? What else did I hear? Miniature trees. In a pot. In a pot. With style. Okay, with style. What kind of style? Like going out style or? Formal, formal. Formal, formal. Well, those are more forms, right? Okay. Um, what else about bonsai? It's just a tree in a pot? Any old tree in a pot? I can take a palm tree, put it in a pot? It's a bonsai? No. Why not? That's what everybody just said. Tree. Oh! Why? Because that's the art. To make a small tree look like an old, large tree, if you have no comparison. Yeah, why? I don't know why. <laughs> Your answer's right, but why? You ever think about why? You are, you it are, looks good. You are, you are simulating nature. Yeah, but why? She she had it. She hit it. Because the nail right on the Japan, head. In Japan, they don't have large trees. So no. See, Chinese, no. Chinese. No. Who, was, who started? Japanese or Chinese? It may have started in India. Who knows? Okay. All right. So people. Were First people that carried started putting plants in pots were Buddhist monks. They did it for medicinal reasons. So they could travel around and have to keep gathering all these herbs and stuff out in the woods. They discovered they could carry them around with a little dirt with them. So, you know, that was probably the first plant in a pot. Okay? But you hit the nail right on the head. You want it to look like an old miniature tree in a pot, a representation of something in nature. But why? Why do you want it to look old? I don't like them for them to look old. I like for them to look healthy. <laughs> but why do you want them to look I'm old? old. I don't want them looking old. Very important. You gotta get this, all right? Most important thing about bonsai. I'm standing here, and I got a four-year-old kid standing here. One of us is gonna tell you our life story. Who's do you want to hear? <laughs> four-year-old. You want to hear the four-year-olds? Thanks a lot. That's how interesting I am. No, I know. Yeah, you're for the experience. Of course. Got more stories to tell. More interest there. All right, you got a young tree in a pot. What's the interest? All right, so you got a little tree in a pot. Watch it grow. Yeah, watch it grow. Now you got something that looks like it's, it doesn't matter how old it is, it's how old does it look. You have something in a pot that looks like it's 600 years old. And it's scarred and beaten and worn. And you're looking at it and you start thinking about memories or picturing in your mind that tree up in a cliff somewhere going through snowstorms and getting beaten by the winds or growing alongside the beach and having the hurricanes come and pound it over for centuries and centuries. Maybe an Indian came by and broke off a branch at some point before, you know, the s European settlers ever came here. I mean, you just, you know, you just want to start conjuring up all these images or it's an old tree that reminds you of a tree you used to have in a yard when you were a kid and you used to throw a rope over it and put a tire on there and used to swing on it, you know? Reminds you of something from Charlotte. You want your trees to tell stories. You want them to tell lots of stories. You want them to evoke emotion in the viewer, all right? Because it is an art. Everybody here said it's an art. So as of today, if you didn't consider yourself an artist before, you should now. You consider yourself an artist, all right? And that's your job, is to get your t trees to tell a story. All right? Age. Most important thing that you want to strive for in bonsai, you want your trees to look really, really old, okay? And if you do, then your trees are going to have lots of stories to tell, and they're going to be very interesting. People are going to stand back and admire them. I'm sure if you walked around here, the trees that caught your eyes, whether you thought about it or not, but subconsciously at least, were the trees that looked the oldest. Right? They're the ones that impressed you. Yeah. You weren't impressed by any of these little young trees that you saw growing out here. All right, so age. It's what we're trying to achieve in bonsai. Make it look like a perfect little tree, old tree in a pot. Okay, what makes a tree look old? An old trunk. Big trunk. Trunk. The roots. Roots and trunk. trunk. That's roots like exposed, roots. exactly. All right, exposed roots. Paper. Wait a second, exposed. Roots. Trunk. Gnarled trunk, you said. 
gnarled. Is that the guy that sings that song crazy? Never mind. Yeah, All right. Gnarled Barkley. <laughs> Barkley. He's got a tree named Eddie. Gnarled Bark singing crazy. <laughs> singing crazy trees. All right. Um, gnarled Trunk. What, a, what does that mean? Tell me. It, it, it has to be like white in the, in the bottom and getting less, less white. Paper? Okay. You're right. Where'd you get that from? The, the other books and the other club that I was. Yeah, somebody told you right. All right. Why? Why does that make a tree look old? Because bigger, the, the oldest the trees, they get white in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, big trunk. Big trunk's number one thing to make a tree look old, all right? take taper off of there for just a minute. We're going to move it over to the side. Why do I keep putting everything away? All right. All right. Taper. All right, big trunk. What else? What else makes your tree look old? Come on, Gary, you've been here before and you got it sitting right in front of you. What makes your tree look old? Bent over. Um, I guess all kinds of angles and... Movement, all right. Movement. Ah, oh, now you got the one I was looking for. What'd you say? Deadwood. Right. Appears to be? Or is, yes. Yeah, all right. What else? What else might make a tree look old? The branches. What about the branches? What does that mean? I don't know how to explain it in English, but that's that. They, they, you see, if 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 I if I if, if I had this branch, uh, like like over here, like this one, it won't match the 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 look of the trunk. There you go. You see? The branch has to be like more 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 mature. Yes. All right. This might involve some texture, uh, branch size. Ramification. What does that mean? A lot of branches. A lot of branches. You said. Well, you're kind of right. But do we want our trees to look like shrubs? No. That's a lot of branches. Right? So then tell me. You guys thought you were going to come in and just like work on trees and uh, chill and not put you through the, through the ringers, right? All right. Yeah. That's all right. You have to the the roots you have to have the first branch, and and the first branch it has to be here has to be wider than the than this one. That is the, the second branch. Okay. So so it has to have like like the first, second. Well, that's more like taper. That's more to do with taper. Okay. Ramification, a lot of branching. What do you mean by that? It's a good word. I mean that this one. She's just sitting there laughing at you. She's like, she's like not helping at all, you know. I mean that this branch, it has to to have a lot of more ramifications. First, third, second. Right, 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 right. Okay, now you're talking. Right, 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 right. Okay, right. By ramification, what he means and what we're talking about is that you can have a branch on a tree. Marker's dying on me. Better find another one. Doesn't really mean much. Might have a couple leaves sticking off of it. 
not very interesting. But we can have branches off that branch. So we have secondary branches. All right. Now we got leaves off of there. Okay. More interesting. But we can even take it better than that. We can have branches off of these branches. We have leaves off of them. And we start getting a very full pad of foliage. And it gets much more interesting. And we could even take that further if we wanted to. Alright, so it's not the number of main branches that we have, but it's the refinement of the main branches and the secondary, tertiary, and fourth and fifth and sixth level branching. Alright, that's what ramification is. That's very important. Why is it important? Old trees have a lot of What's that? Old, old trees? Old trees have a lot of That's right, they do. Young tree just sends up one liter, may not have any branches at all, it might just have a trunk line. Slightly older tree might have a couple branches splitting off of it. Alright, old trees have select branches, but the ones that they have have lots of secondary and tertiary branches coming off of them. Alright, so they don't, have, they don't have a lot of branches coming off the trunk like a shrub would have. They have individual branches coming off the trunk, but each one of those branches has a lot excuse me, has a lot of ramification to it. Okay? Why is that important? For the shape, For the shape? all right. It goes back to this thing. All right? Because we want everything in scale. We want it to get scaled down. Every one of these is going to be smaller, as Manuel was saying. So it's going to be smaller and smaller and smaller. It's going to get very fine, all right? Everything that we can do in scale, scale is very important. I'm not talking about fish scales. I'm talking about relationship of size here. All right. Everything that we can do to make that trunk look bigger by making everything else look smaller makes that tree look a lot older. That's why we strive for leaf reduction in bonsai. We try and reduce the size of the leaves. Oh, leaf size, that's a good one. All right. Branch size, how about branch placement? I'm writing terrible today, all right? Branch placement. Um, how about the shape of the tree? I want you guys to be thinking about these. Let me see. What about the shape could make it look older? All right. Would that be like in the movement? No. I'm talking about silhouette in this case. All right. I think that's going to give us some few things to talk about here for a few minutes, all right? In bonsai, we always start at the bottom. Whenever you're working on your tree, you always start at the bottom and work your way up. All right? Most important things, roots and trunk. So that's where we start when we're working on our trees, okay? Um, what about exposed roots making the tree look old? Somebody said exposed roots, right? What about, tree make, what about that makes the tree look old? Well, trees, older trees do have the exposed roots, all right? That's just a, just a fact, all right? But it makes the trees look like they're well anchored, like they've been there for a long time, okay? Big trunk, we said, makes the tree look old, all right? 
deadwood. There's various types of deadwood. We can have a hollowed out trunk. We can just have deadwood alongside the trunk, which is called shari in Japanese, but you don't have to remember that. You have what they call gin, which is the deadwood at the top of a tree where it looks like it's been struck by lightning or a broken branch off the trunk that's died, okay? That's called gin. You don't have to remember that either. But there are, those are common terms. Those are two common terms you're going to hear a lot in bonsai. All right. A gnarled trunk. All right, so that kind of falls in with the dead wood. Movement. Why would a movement make a tree look old? John. Right, 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 right. It looks like it's gone through a lot of time because its shape has changed, right. Now there are some there is a style of bonsai, a form of bonsai called a formal upright, in which case the tree is very, very straight. But it's an extremely, extremely difficult style or form to master. You need a lot of experience to really be able to carry it off, and it's almost impossible to find that kind of material. The kind of finding material that you can use for a formal upright is very, very, very difficult to find. We're not even going to worry about that today. But generally speaking, the more movement your tree has, the more it looks like it's been through. It's been through the winds. Maybe it looks like it's, it's growing one way for a long time, and then maybe another older tree next to it that was blocking the sun fell down so it started catching more sunlight so it started growing the other way you know and it searched to keep the sun to get the sun okay so movement can make the tree look very old um, you know trunks break off cause of storms or whatever so a branch takes over and becomes a new top on the tree that can change it so all those think all these kinds of movement and things can make the tree uh, show a lot more age texture yeah, generally speaking, if it's a style of tree that has a lot of texture, it can make the tree look a lot older. Now, I'll give you an example. Behind this buttonwood here on the other side in the ground there is a gumbo limbo. Pretty smooth bark for the most part. You know, the tourist tree, yeah. The gumbo limbos, they don't have a lot of texture to them. All right, if you look over there at the tababuyas, the tababuyas get a lot of texture to them. They get a really chunky, corky bark, okay? So, yeah, that can make the tree look a lot older, but not all trees can can provide you with that kind of texture on the, on the trunk okay um, there's even trees in, in bonsai that we use uh, for example the uh, Japanese maple is alcova well those have this those have or birch or beech that they use up north which we can't grow down here but uh, for example the Japanese uh, Japanese elm I mean not maple Japanese elm is alcova is um the, the bark is perfectly smooth on that. I mean, it's like, it's like slick almost. You're never going to get a chunky bark on that, but that's not the point with that tree. When you're growing that as a bonsai, you try and grow it without any cut marks or blemishes or anything. That's what you try to achieve with that tree. So you have to work with whatever species the tree is. Other species, though, get very chunky, corky bark. Some pines and all, black pines get some really heavy bark. In fact, with black pines, they call it like tortoise shell because it gets these big plates of bark on it that look like the plates on a tortoise shell, okay? So texture can make the tree look old, absolutely.